Hey guys, it's Danny here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always it is a pleasure to join you. In this video we're going to do a question from the November 2019 Grade 12 Physical Sciences Paper 2. This question deals with chemical equilibrium and the equilibrium constant. In this reaction, nitrogen monoxide gas reacts with oxygen gas and produces nitrogen dioxide according to this balanced chemical equation. The amounts of each gas were recorded over time on this graph and additionally we're told that the volume of the container remains constant at 3 decimeters cubed throughout the experiment and at t equal to zero, so the start of the measurement, the, 20, the temperature is 25 degrees celsius and the equilibrium constant is 256. Questions 4.1 to 4.4 are covered in a separate video and the answers are not relevant to the ones dealt with here. So this first question, question 4.5, asks us to calculate the number of moles of nitrogen dioxide present in the container at time at t is equal to zero. If we look at our graph, we can see that the number of moles of the reactants are given, but not the number of the moles of the product. What we are given, though, is the equilibrium constant for the reaction, and we know we can relate that to the concentration of the reactants and the products. From the concentration, we can find the number of moles of product because we're also given the volume of the container. So we can use this equation n is equal to c times v. So let's first write the expression for the equilibrium constant for this reaction. And then we can substitute in the known values. So the expression for the equilibrium constant of this equation is equal to the concentration of the product over the concentration of the reactants. So we have nitrogen dioxide over here and that is raised to the power of 2 and that is divided by the concentration of the reactants. So we have nitrogen monoxide also raised to the power of 2 and then we have oxygen gas. So if we substitute in our known values, um, we have that the concentration of the nitrogen monoxide is given by the number of moles divided by the volume of the container. So we have this is equal to 3 over 3 squared. Then for oxygen, we have 5 moles divided by the volume of the container. So for this one, we have 5 over 3. And then for our equilibrium constant, we know that this is 256. So from that, we can solve for the concentration of the nitrogen dioxide. And that gives us the concentration as 20.65 nine moles per dm cubed. Okay, so plugging this into the equation for n is equal to c times v, we have 20.6559 multiplied by 3 decimeters cubed, and that gives us the number of moles of nitrogen dioxide present at t is equal to zero, as 61.97 moles. Okay, so the next question asks us, um, or the next question tells us rather, that at 60 minutes the temperature was increased. We are asked to use Le Chatelier's principle and explain whether the reverse reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So Le Chatelier's principle states that if a system is in equilibrium and it is disturbed, the equilibrium position will shift to oppose the disturbance and re-establish equilibrium. From the graph, we can see that there is a disturbance at 60 minutes in, and this disturbance increases the concentration of the reactants and decreases the concentration of the product. That means that the reverse reaction is favored, since the product is used up and the concentration of the reactants increases. So that means that the reverse reaction is favored and according to Le Chatelier's principle, the reaction favored will oppose the disturbance, meaning that it will need to oppose the increase in temperature and reduce the heat. 
we know that endothermic reactions take in heat. So since the reverse reaction is favored by the increase in temperature, we can say that the reverse reaction is endothermic. Before I go, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our EPIC sponsor for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Be sure to visit our website for more of these EPIC tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, you can send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until next time, stay EPIC.